Read all the stories about BYU sports no one else has heard. Go to kslsports.com for exclusive columns by BYU insider Mitch Harper. That's kslsports.com. First and 12, Mitch Harper coming to you from Fayetteville, Arkansas. It's a fun night last night watching BYU take down the Hogs got to look forward now and joining me is alex carey every single week here on first and 12 what's the signature uh like dish in fayetteville i mean like what are they telling you oh you got to eat over here man you got to get some breakfast hash over here i mean like they had a they had a lot of items with pimento uh the pimento cheese if you're i I know that chick-fil-a's got a new pimento. (laughs) right i saw that and i was like that's gonna be a tough i don't know if it was topical because i'm not you know in utah we don't have much pimento cheese christian says it's a win he says it's a w if you get that sandwich i guess (laughs) I, i do love that sandwich but there was a lot of items with pimento i went to this Wright's barbecue that was just fantastic uh there was a bunch of byu People there in pregame, uh, even some former BYU football and basketball players were there. I was chatting them up, and there was a lot of uh, a lot of good food. I had some some ribs, some jalapeno cheese, uh, uh, sausage. It, it was great. The sides were outstanding. So Wright's Barbecue in Fayetteville, that was really good. Uh, there was also this place called Herman's. Uh, it's like a kind of like a restaurant, family restaurant. It was highly recommended. I didn't get the chance to go there, but. A lot of locals seem to say that that was that's a good spot as well. Yeah, but yeah, so there was no specific item though. Right, you're surrounded by like people don't go. Oh yeah, Arkansas style barbecue. You yeah. know what I mean? So you're yeah. surrounded by a bunch of different styles. So maybe it's got a little bit of uh, of all of the best of the ones that are kind of all around them. All right. Speaking of the best of all around us here, uh, the week ahead in the Big Twelve, this is going to be a big one. So let's yeah. jump in and let's look at what the schedule looks like for next week. It's going to be a good one. The week ahead. Matchups that have us the most excited about the week to come in the Big 12. All right, Mitch, give us your best ones. What do you think? Who's taking on whom? This is going to be a big one because you're going to see most of these guys in action against their conference opponents already. Well, let's start off with BYU and Kansas. Two undefeated teams, 130 kick. It'll air here on KSL News Radio. Coverage on KSLSports.com. It'll be televised on ESPN. BYU goes to Lawrence. About eight to 9,000 BYU fans are expected to be there. Kansas' is AD talked about how it could be close to a sellout in large part because of the BYU fans are going to be showing up. Kansas, it, this is only the third time in the, in the Lance Leipold era that they're playing a game on ESPN. So it, it seemed like a weird stat to me just, I think, because we see BYU so much and they're always on ESPN. But – uh, for pro- programs like Kansas, who have always been relegated to ESPN Plus or or some you know offshoot network, big deal for them. So I think that's going to be sweet and see both those teams undefeated. Uh, there's a lot of great storylines in that BYU Kansas game. I think that might be the maybe the game of the week potentially. It's got that it's got that potential there between BYU well, okay. and the Jayhawks. When it was when this one was when BYU was invited in twenty September twenty twenty one. If you were to go, yeah, the first game is going to be against Kansas. Undefeated BYU against <laughs> undefeated Kansas, your first week in the Big 12. We would have probably laughed at one another and then you go. You would have said, is it week one? <laughs> well, I mean, like, I don't know about week one, but I mean, like. Because they're is, both undefeated that way. That's what Kansas I'm saying. Wins. No, that's what I'm saying. It's like, both undefeated. That's going to be your first conference game. It's, it's two undefeated teams taking on one another. It would have been hilarious if they're both ranked going into that one. But uh, conference games. First for a lot of people, Oklahoma and Cincinnati. That's your early game on uh, on next Saturday. And, you know, I, I don't know what to think because Cincinnati has a pretty good attack. Oklahoma is, seems unbelievably good right now, but they're going to the nip there. And uh, Oklahoma goes to Cincinnati. That's going to be an interesting test for them. I, I also like the UCF at Kansas State game. Bounce back opportunity for the Wildcats. What's the situation with Will Howard at quarterback who clearly was banged up against Missouri? UCF's already got... Uh, a change at QB for the foreseeable future with Timmy McLean calling the signals there. 6 p.m. FS1. That's a good game. Big 12 defending champ. UCF plays their first game. I mean, you talk about a program like BYU that has so much energy and excitement to be in this league. That's going to be a cool showcase game. I think all the newcomers have cool opening conference games. Houston already had TCU, but Cincinnati with Oklahoma, UCF and BYU, they're kind of the – 
the headliners uh, for next week in, in, as conference play heats I, up. I know you didn't want to go full at, uh, ACC talk, but <laughs> it's an interesting one with an, a, with an ACC team coming into Ammon Carter Stadium. The SMU Mustangs <laughs> taking on TCU. Now they're not in the ACC yet, but it's an, I mean that's a Dallas versus Fort Worth uh, classic there. Uh, look, look, skillet TCU. game, right? Is uh, it Iron Skillet? Dude, I mean, listen, I'm telling you, nobody, nobody – I mean. It, it, that those are two teams that no one cared about when I was growing up, and it's interesting. I mean, now they're kind of getting a little bit of you know ahead of steam, but I don't know what they play for. If it's an iron skillet, it's a it's a shock to me. I mean, it's like, hey, when was your last national championship? In the '30s. When was yours? In the '40s. That's really what it comes down to. Is like when Sammy Ball was slinging in the Sugar Bowl. <laughs> what? Yeah, everybody starts to look around. They go, "What about Doak Walker?" Right. <laughs> this is this is the kind of conversations they have. All right, uh, Texas Tech and West Virginia. That's a fun one. You heard uh, uh, Neil Brown earlier in the program on our uh, on our sound roundup when he talked about that team from West Texas coming into town. That's a big one. That's a fun one for them to be able to host Texas Tech. And I, I, frankly, if you were to tell me that it was going to be a one and two Texas Tech team, I guess a two and one West Virginia team, we also would have been looking at each other sideways. I do like that game, and I'm also curious, Texas at Baylor. I'm not expecting much from Baylor. I think Texas should roll, but no rivalry game. There's a lot of hatred for Texas uh, on the Baylor side, and I got to imagine McLean Stadium is going to be pretty hopping. I mean, it's, it's, it's the beginning of the farewell tour for the Longhorns, so kind of curious to see that in a primetime spot, 530 on ABC, Baylor and Texas. There's been some classic games between those two over the last decade or so. So I'm kind of curious to to see that one, and and then Oklahoma State at Iowa State. I mean, that's a, that's a dud Whoa. of a game if Whoa. I've ever seen. But you know, who bounces back? Who gets right to start league play? Because you know, as we know, Alex, when you get to league, you're, everyone's zero and zero, and the season is anew. If you get on the right foot, I mean, that feels like an important game for both teams, especially Oklahoma State, who you'd expect a lot more of with with Mike Gundy and a little bit more veteran team. Calling it right now. Sam Houston at Houston. Sam Houston, the Bearcats with the K, get a W over their crosstown Ooh, rivals wow. in Houston. Yeah, Dana Holgerson's not going to – he is not going to recover yet. It might have to be actual conference play when he gets back into it again, but I see Sam Houston winning that one uh, at Houston next week. So those are all your games across the conference. Mitch, it's been an awesome week so far, and it's going to be another awesome one as BYU goes into conference play, man. Going to be a lot of fun. Uh, let's let's gear, lock in. We're in midseason form. We're rocking and rolling here on first and twelve, and best continues to come here on the show every single week from ten to noon and three to five. Replay on both News Radio and the KSL Sports Zone. Mitch, safe travels as you get back to uh, Utah, and uh, of course, we're looking Thank forward you. to it. You can always cover. You can always get Mitch's uh, byline there at KSLSports dot com. You can hear me on Unrivaled every day on the KSL Sports Zone with Scott Mitchell. We're going to break everything down across the entire station. So for Mitch, I'm Alex. We'll see you next week on First and Twelve, everybody.